thank you for checking out my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And if you like the way my hair looks, then continue watching to see how I style my everyday loose waves. Okay, to begin, I start by putting in some clip-in hair extensions that are a similar length to my hair, just to give it more volume, and then I will begin styling. Before you start, make sure you've got lots of grippy things like these or something similar, because I use these to section my hair with. I hairspray my hair instead of back combing, and it does make my extensions feel secure. And once the hairspray is dry, you really don't need to back comb, in my opinion, anyway. I put the longest piece, I think this is a four section piece, in first and I put that directly round the back once the hairspray is dry. And then I grab a three piece piece and then I angle these ones more round to the side where sort of my ears are to blend in with my hair. Just putting a couple of pieces of extensions in really gives me so much more volume. And I would definitely recommend if you have thin hair like me. Now I'm taking my clips out and putting my natural hair back over the top. And they do need a brush though, as you can see. So before I do anything else, brush the extensions in with my natural hair. Now it's time to style. Woohoo! So I'm just turning my wand on now. And this is a Babyliss wand. It's such a nice, simple design. Really easy to use. I'll link it below. It has got one of these clamp things. But you don't actually have to use it because I'm not great at hair and I do find it a big faff. And while I'm waiting for my wand to heat up, I'm just putting some heat defence on my hands and running through my hair while I'm waiting to protect it from any heat. I'm going to give it one more brush. I think I find it's really important um, to get all the knots out of your hair before doing any styling. Keep it smooth. I've just sectioned my hair back up like I did before, so the majority of it is now up just to get to the bottom layer. And everybody really does style their hair differently. Um, but for loose waves, I like to take my wand outwards, like so, um, because I find that that gives me a bit more volume with them. And then I leave it on for about 10 seconds and I've got my temperature set to 180 degrees. I don't have it on the highest one because if they don't need to stay in for a really long time, I don't think you need it any hotter and more heat damage unnecessarily. And I sort of run my finger through it and then I repeat that action all the way around. I take really, really small parts of hair, small pieces of hair, rather. So I like to curl outwards rather than inwards, because that means that I usually put my barrel on top of the hair rather than underneath the hair, because that then goes inwards. I tell a lie, sorry I said 180 degrees, my wand is actually on 185 degrees. So yeah, about 10 seconds and you get the gist of it now. It is so worth it though, doing all the hair, even though it takes a while, you get really nice, big bouncy waves. I also find when I grab a bit of hair that is an extension, it takes a little bit longer to curl than my own hair. I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone, but I hold it slightly longer on the barrel. Why I recommend that you do take small parts is because I just find that if you take a too big a section, the heat doesn't get to all the hair, so it won't curl properly anyway. 
this method of curling outwards really works for me but if you want to curl inwards you can do that as well because it really is each to their own whatever suits your face shape this just works for me I've put the section that I've done behind my back resectioned off camera for the next part I'm just going to whiz round and do exactly the same thing but with this section of hair I've just done my second section and I'm topping up the heat protect because it was quite a while that I put heat protect on now. So this is my third section, just give it all a brush through again and the bits I've done I always put down behind my back so I can see which bits I've done. Just been doing my hair thinking how jealous I am of people that have naturally curly or textured fun hair I have to work so hard and I try so hard to create that with mine but my natural hair is dull, lifeless, not much personality you always want what you can't have in life right? so I'm just doing the same thing all the way around again about 10 seconds I actually had to take quite a long break between sections filming because so much noise from my neighbours and the weather in Essex today has just been so rainy and disgusting and loud that I was hearing it on the camera. just finished and I'm weirdly running my fingers through it all it will look better when I've brushed it I promise just smooth it all out like so and voila here are my everyday loose waves this is how I style them I hope that you enjoyed it and that you like the look if you did please click thumbs up and subscribe to me so you can see when I next post and we can stay in touch, comment anything that you want me to do. I think as it's now October, I'm thinking of doing a Halloween makeup video. I need to practice though. Um, so maybe I'll film that during the week and then post it next week, the week after. But in the meantime, have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.